when you really look at uh, socio economic development point of view uh, there are many studies and research reports have shown that telecom and icts have got in exculpable role that is uh, they are entwined between uh, development as well as the uh, telecom and icts and uh, you know there is a clear cut proven uh, you know i mean uh, evidence that these uh, icts can play a catalytic role in the development as well as growth in uh, economy or socio economic perspective and uh, i have seen from itud point of view in uh, enabling environment direct assistance to the countries and as well as you know in uh, there are many programs what itud has been doing especially in terms of uh, capacity building and uh, and contributing for a policy development frameworks as well as uh, uh, even uh, this uh, training programs you name it it could be technology it could be standardization uh, bridging gap and as well as uh, direct assistance to the projects and in many areas especially including uh, the trust building frameworks how people can use it with confidence and trust so in all these areas uh, itu has been contributing to bridge the digital divide as well as you know i mean uh, to bring up uh, and to ensure that opportunities are made available to the world humanity by bringing icts closer to them because through icts there are low lying fruits where you know development can be accessed easily so i mean i'm very you know i mean confident that you know that itud has been uh, playing a human role in uh, bringing icts closer to the people and uh, reducing the digital divide as well as the you know inequity among the people in fact uh, i was going through the you know performance measurement report of itud last year first time i came across the concept called the digital natives like enga population who are born when the you know already all these digital technologies are available uh, actually you know i was surprised you know the perspective what itu thought okay this could be one of the ways how people can be looked at and about their needs especially when i see the enga generation and school children as well as you know i mean uh, the young employees uh, they are born they are born in the you know ict age where already icts to some extent are mature and their needs and the way they interact on social platforms the way interact uh, you know with the world information it's uh, you know really amazing and uh, i'm aware of some programs like uh, you know the ict youth forum as well as uh, young people summit what it has been conducting and uh, i think you know what itu has been trying to do is uh, to build the capacity in the younger generation in accessing icts as well as uh, you know encouraging that uh, multilingual development of the content and encouraging the governments to bring uh, you know more public services content uh, accessible to the people and as well as creating a platform where uh, this uh, new generation can interact exchange views and uh, you know i mean they can collaborate globally and perhaps all these things are possible the way what it is looking forward in creating technologies and creating the platforms uh, more accessible to the youth uh, in fact it is uh, playing a very key role in those areas especially the ldcs lldcs you know small and developing countries uh, i practically have seen in rural areas in india where you know i mean how uh i mean youth are getting empowered the first empowerment device for them is the mobile device mobile instrument now it is internet and uh, of course there are some issues in you know in enhancing the penetration of broadband but still you know it is going close to them the services as well as the opportunities for the youth india has become itus member from in uh, 1869 and uh, first and foremost uh, we congratulate itu its leadership and uh, all its uh, hard working team and most importantly the member states who have successfully you know contributed to itu growth and as well as uh, how it has become a successful sustainable organization providing a multilateral platform for the communities as well as providing a multi stakeholder platform in all the developing aspects of uh, telecom and icts and uh, i know i mean uh, as we have seen that you know the telecom and icts have got a very you know what's called uh, very strong influence or uh, catalytic role on the development of uh, development and growth aspects 
and uh, IT as a platform is the need for the world, you know, I mean, humanity. Because uh, though we may say there are, uh, you know, I mean, already very huge penetration of mobile and uh, internet in many countries, but there are many countries. You mentioned that, you know, how the people who are uh, left behind, how are going to bridge the digital divide there for them. IT is the only platform which, you know, really supporting them and uh, building capacity and supporting the governments through policy frameworks as well as, uh, you know, providing the guidance and uh, the, all those aspects. And uh, I'm very confident IT is having a very, very bright future. And it's as a membership, we are there, you know, to support ITU to accomplish that objective.